me ducks. I'm Quinn from the Peak District in Derbyshire. Welcome to my channel Quinn Peaks Biker. I want to start by thanking you for clicking to my page and hope you'll find it interesting and share my journey with biking. Well who am I? I'm a normal family man from the UK in the routine and approaching my mid-40s and I'm a new biker. No not the new biker who is a very nice guy but some of my favourite memories are travelling with my family on the Renfields and Vespers and especially with my uncle and his beloved RD250. I would pretend I'm Captain Kirk going at warp speed and I would cling on. But g going back, I'm back to biking after my two attempts in the mid-90s and early 2000s didn't end so well. But the longing for that feeling, that fun, has always stayed with me and that's what keeps bringing me back. But what I am passionate about is travel. Seeing new places, meeting new people and learning about them. The history, culture and life. It's the people that make a place and I'd like to record the story of those that I meet, where possible. From a very young age, I was enthralled and glued to the screen, watching the adventures of Phileas Fogg, jumping from one daring scene to another, and watching how Alan Wicker would report fascinating stories and leave you with the sense that you'd be standing there next to him. His voice and style were mesmerizing. Michael Palin's enthusiasm and care for the places he visited made you want to learn more and David Attenborough's attention to detail and patience captured those special moments. I had the opportunity to live and work in South America for a few years. It was life changing and a very very special time for me. I did at this time get to ride trails again on a borrowed bike. The travel experience was exactly what I've been looking for all this time. The motorbike allowed me to explore, gave me flexibility and the security but to let me live by being in the place, it was perfect. And then I crashed out badly a second time, riding off the bike. It was over. I didn't think I would ride again. Since my life changed, the responsibility had grown many times over, I accepted I'd had my time and now it was a new era. But the emptiness, that longing, that space just grew and grew. For over a decade and a half, I just got on with it and tried to do the best job I could. I satisfied myself by reading books by Ted Simon, Sam Manikin, Ellsworth Beard and were watching the shows like The Long Way Round um, at every opportunity. With the advent of YouTube, I further indulged myself, travelling with the incredible Mondo Enduro, two-wheeled review around Europe on his 125 and then around South Africa, Norley Schumacher of Itchy Boots from India to Europe and beyond, somewhere else tomorrow. The world's fastest man around the world, Nick Sanders, 31 days, 21 hours, incredible. The crazy Ed March on his C90 adventures. There are even crazier sidecar guys. And Mad TV's trip from London to Sydney. The incredible Lyndon Poskett really, really inspired me. I even got his mesh adventure spec jacket. And of course, just so many more TV, incredible channels. Then in January 2020, I fell seriously ill. After I came out of the hospital, I felt very lucky, like I'd been given another chance. I had one thought that had persisted throughout my time there and before, that world trip. I was watching many shows again and again, but they just didn't satisfy me anymore. Those plasters on a sinking boat just were not enough. So I pushed to make a change. I decided I would stop making excuses, stop listening and believing, to what I was told that I couldn't do and I jumped in. Well they do say third time's a charm. So I did my CBT, I got my L plates, I bought a bike and I started riding. But there is a few of these shows, these documentaries and diaries that really stayed with me and put have been and have motivated me and pushed me. The first I would say is Richie Vida, who's also from Derbyshire. In fact he just lives a few miles away. For the first time I saw a local, someone like me, where I'm from. There was another person from Derbyshire who was having these adventures, going across America, having these travels. If a fellow Derbyshire could do it, then so could I. Bruce Smart, aka Teapot One. Apart from his round the world trip and the numerous challenges that he had, which are a feat in itself, it's his line. Look after those you love, but live your life. These words from his mother are sage advice and really stay with me. If I couldn't have the time to travel around the world all at once, what about small steps at a time to achieve my goal? This, this would balance out the needs of my family and work life with my dream of 
doing my world trip. Nathan Millwood, or oh, Nathan the Postman. Nathan has made an epic journey that I'm drawn to watch again and again. But there's a particular moment in his second leg across America that really stays with me. He reaches a moment at the end of the road in Skegway, Alaska, where he's at peace and he's okay with himself. But he still says he was a plonker for doing it, and at times he wished he hadn't started the trip, but he never thought to quit. So my worldview and attitude challenge is the same, to see things through to the end, whatever the obstacles. It's that reminder that at the that there's things that we need to do. Roads that once we start down, we need to get to the end of. I needed to get to my own Skagway and not give up. A special mention goes to King Richard Srinivasan from Bangalore in South India. His wonderful interaction with people all over the world, learning about new culture and people's wonderful and heartwarming to watch during his white dragon adventure to the world. You truly were the king. Rest in peace. Gaurav Jani is perhaps India's first biker filmmaker, famous for co-founding the 60kph Adventure Riding Club in India and travelling on his Bullet 350 with over 300 kilos of luggage. But it's his two movies, Riding Surge to the Top of the World in 2006 and One Crazy Ride in 2009, that are exceptional pieces. Those documentaries are something that I've watched again and again and are genuinely awe-inspiring. He loved India and he loved exploring and travel. And what he captured really spelled out a format that was exactly what I wanted. But it's his passing in May 2020 that felt like a personal loss. We were similar ages and he was genuinely inspiring and someone I hoped I could meet and travel with one day. Especially as I just got my L plates a few weeks earlier. Rest in peace, Gordov. The Long Way series, also the Race to Dakar and By Any Means, it was a series that launched a thousand GSs, but not one KTM, I imagine. (laughs) What, too soon? Perhaps the most important person of the series was Cloudy, this cameraman. Having these trips is an experience, but it's the filming and the recording of the journey was essential on so many levels. If a tree falls in a forest and no one hears it, did it happen? Gerald and Austin Vince. I don't know where to start and say what has not already been said about these incredible characters. They are my heroes. Austin has a very infectious enthusiasm and is always encouraging people to do their trips and just get out there. His energy and pure love of two wheels draws you in and he has amazing can-do uplifting attitude and he made me believe that I can do it too. Austin's Adventure Film Festival has also been a source of inspirational world travel documentaries. Simply, his contribution to the travel world is staggering. Last but not least, my mate Jeff. Or Guru Jeff, as I sometimes call him, is someone I've become friends with over the past two years. He rides bikes, so he must be a good guy. (laughs) But really, he's very, very encouraging, giving and generous. Solid and dependable as Cornish granite is Jeff. I've been saying for a while, oh, what about this trip? That would be only interesting if he did that. Oh, what about that route? That would be an adventure. I think Jeff got fed up and told me to go start a YouTube channel and do it myself. (laughs) So I did, and that's why I'm here. With the push and encouragement of my daughter, good old Guru Jeff, and my friends. But really, if you do see Jeff, look after him. Get him a nice ale. He likes his ale. Almost all the shows and people I've mentioned and spoken about were on YouTube. It's a way that I could record my own experiences and share them. I would like to prove that I can do it and that normal folk who take things up later in life, starting from scratch, can make a go and success of it. Anyone irrelevant of what you do, where you come from, or what you look like, or your ability, you can still dream and try to break out that mould. Age and responsibilities are not a handicap for assets. Well, what are my plans for the channel? Well, my primary aim is travel and I will let the channel find its feet. I myself have a lot to learn and my full license yet to pass. But ultimately it's to record my journey with motorcycles, how it grows and develops. <laughs> and yes Jeff, cheers for you there will be a calamity quin counter. As long as I have the support of my generous family, my friends and you my companions. One day, I hope, we'll be able to say we've travelled the world on two wheels together. 
a very rough outline of what I like to do in the short term. This year in 2021, I like to do some UK trips, some that I've already done already. Um, until two weeks ago, I'd never been south of Bristol. I'd never seen the Cotswolds. I'd never seen Land's End. I'd never seen um, Stonehenge or Tintagel. There were big things on the list, and I've already made that. And I've been lucky enough to have those things, see those things. I've never even seen the British seaside in many years. Next year in 2022, I'd like to circumnavigate the Iberian Peninsula and maybe see the Alps. The year after, make a trip to India, and ideally all going well, ride back from India to my home in Derbyshire from my granddad's village in Punjab in India. There are many more trips on my bucket list, but I think this is plenty for now. Thank you for listening. Please comment and subscribe. Share your thoughts, ideas and suggestions. I look forward to sharing my journey with you, my friends. Take care, ride safe and stay curious.